What is going on guys? My name is Ultra Gamer and I'm playing a new game. Well, sort of. I'm starting a new series anyways. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm on Project Coast 2 and I wanted to try something different. I was fooling around with settings in this game and I wanted to try things that wouldn't normally be done in this game. Now, this might look normal. NASCAR, Daytona. That's, you know, Daytona 500, whatever. But that's not what we're here for. I'm here to do something different. I'm here to mess around with stuff. So we're taking this thing. We're taking an IndyCar. Oh, wrong way. Do nine laps. We're going to do nine laps at Daytona in an IndyCar. And try to survive. This might not go well. Uh, but let's go. So, the idea for this series is to do things that wouldn't normally be done. I kind of said that in the start. To take cars to tracks that wouldn't normally waste there. That's the idea of this series. So, this is part one. I'll probably do more in the future, but I also want to see how this goes, so... I'm trying this out. This is kind of a test of the waters to see if this actually can work. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, back out. Nope. I forgot to change the, uh, number of people. It's not gonna be a 1v1, that'll be boring. Okay, here we go. Uh... I don't think we need to do a whole lot. Alright. Rolling start. And we're only 2 wide instead of 3 wide. Because that's an Indianapolis thing. I'm starting in 15. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. I have to try and not crash and die. Because that is a full possibility that could happen. Oh! Come on, bro. You're slow. Also, the, ha the driving mechanic on this game is really unstable and I don't like it. That's why I usually stay away from this game, but I'm doing it for the video. Ow, move. Jesus. Come on, man. Number 25? Yeah, I'm all way. Slow me down twice already. Now, turn 3 and 4 is a problem, I do know that. I am aware of what is he doing. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Oh, Jesus. All right. Let's go, let's go. Ignore that that just happened. You didn't see anything. 220 miles an hour. Alright, get on 25. 25. Bugging. Move. They like to slow down the end of the- Wow. Alright, I'm gonna keep my- Keep your foot in it! Number 61, out my way. Number 22, Simon Paginot, get out my way. Look at that, how fast I am. 237. I have to do this for nine laps. Alright, I kind of cut down on them now, but... This... You put, you guys probably have no idea. These cars are actually really hard to control. Like, the handling model in this game, as I said, is not great. But, combine that with these cars at this track... You're just trying to hang on. Pretty much. And we're not even pack racing anymore. I got through the pack, alright. Up to second. Who's in the lead, is it? New Garden? It's the 8. I don't know who that is. Now it's Marcus Erickson, but I don't know who it was at this point. I'm in the lead! Yeah, I forgot that they check up in the corners. I forgot that that was the thing that happened. Now, I will admit, I have gotten better at this game. Back when I first started playing it, I would have already crashed by now. I mean, I kind of did. I hit the wall earlier, but I would have, like, actually spun out by now. So I've improved. I'll give myself a pat on the back for that. But now I just need to try... <laughs> I just need to try and, like, hold on. I don't care if I win the race or not. Also, turn 3 and 4 is exceptionally bumpy. Because I think this is old Daytona. This is like what iRacing would consider 2007 Daytona. 
I think that's what they modeled this track off of. So it, they turn this really bumpy. Especially turn four. Turn four is the worst. It's even it's even worse in Project Cars 3. But there you go, on seat. This car is just trying to hang a lap. I don't I know you can't see that, but I am having to turn to the right down the straightaway because this car is trying to hang a lap. Like if I just hold straight, it just turns left. So uh yeah, gotta not do that. Well I mean I can to certain extent. 227. This is actually going really smoothly. I don't know how far ahead I am with the rest of it. I can't see them on my mini map, so I'm assuming I'm quite far ahead of the rest of the field. So they do it. They pull to the bottom and then they come back up on the straightaway. And the 8500, they always do that. I just did it now. I'm so focused on driving, I can't really look at the times or anything. Whoa! We good. We, whoa, 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 Oh yeah, I'm driving as Elio Cashnevis. Got to mention that. I know you can't see it. Besides, you know, the yellow meters. But yeah, I'm driving as Elio Cashnevis. The Penske boys! No, before he betrayed Penske. But that's for another story. Lap 7. What the hell just happened? Did I shift gears on the straightaway? I did, I don't think I did. I, I am shifting, what? I'm not doing that, okay? I am not shifting, the car is shifting for me. Well, in that, at that point it was. Right, now it's in sixth, I'm not touching that button. I've been holding sixth. I've been holding six gear this entire time. I don't know why I keep shifting. Yeah, it does on the edge of the corner, it just starts down. Maybe it's for speed. I don't know. Then I hit the sixth before I get into turn three. Then it gets the fifth. And then it shifts back to fifth before I get out of turn four. What's going on? That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. White flag! Final lap. Here we go! Through the tri oval and I win. Elio Castro Neves is your winner at Daytona. And I finished seven seconds ahead of everybody else. Nice, I guess. Cool? I don't know how to feel about that. Okay. I'm back again. We're trying this again. I upped the AI difficulty to see if that would stop them checking up in the corners. And uh, apparently I had double the amount of fuel than the elapsed in this race. So we got rid of that. So now this should maybe be a lot more exciting and a lot smoother. Possibly. Although the 25 is going really freaking slow. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I probably have damage from that. Um, that's a problem. Not a whole lot though, but, you know. They always like to check up all the time, and they're still checking up. Roll power! Oh my! Okay. <laughs> wow. That was, uh, that was crazy. Also, I'm assuming now that I took all that fuel out, the car should be lighter. Uh, which means it should go faster. If I was hitting 237 or something before, going into turn 3, I might be able to hit 240 now, possibly. Not a guarantee, though. Nope, I only hit 227 that time. Well. Okay, then. Is they hitting, what, 240 in Indianapolis? Something like that. I can't keep up now. <laughs> I got past all the slow guys and now I can't keep up. Come on, man. So yeah, the AI difficulty definitely did something. 
Now I can't catch them. They're not even checking up in the corners, I don't think. Maybe they are a little bit. Yes. Oh. Alright, we're in sixth gear now. 227. See, there's a sweet spot where you take out fuel and it makes the car lighter, which makes it faster, but take out too much. And then it starts sputtering. And you, well, then, then you're running out of fuel if it's in sputtering. And then you're just going slow again. Well, I wanted to find that middle ground. And I might have done that? Maybe? Oh, yeah. I'm not catching them. This is a problem. I'm not catching them. I'm in six you. I can't go any faster than 227. Come on, man. I know this guy's got more speed than that. I can't catch them. But then again, they're all in a draft. And I'm not. I'm just kind of by myself. Alright, lap six. I'm in, I'm in ninth. Alright, I'm catching them a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Damn it, I was hoping I could get a little more pack racing going. Doesn't seem like that's gonna happen. Oh, he's checking up. They yeah, tried to go side by side in the corner, and he's checking up now. Here we go. I gotta run on you now, boy. I block me. Number twenty. Oh, yeah, there's a free position. Now I'm in the draft. These guys all checked up. Now I, uh, I gotta draft out these guys. He's not checking up now. He's not checking up at the corner. He did slow down, though. He didn't, like, slam the brakes down. There we go. There's another spot. He caught him. I didn't think I'd... Oh! My bad. <laughs> my, my B. It's all good, though. I didn't lose that much speed, though, which is kind of funny. I also just... I think that was Scott Dixon. I almost nearly took him out. How am I going to do this? All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Three wide, and then back up the track. Wow, that was a textbook overtake. I am now in fourth. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch these three, though. They were uh, in a league of their own. I think that car in front of me is Simon Pagno. I can tell because it's neon and it's the brightest object on the track. And it's the final lap. They're going side by side to turn one. Who's, is someone going to check up? They're still going side by side. I guess no one's checking up. They really don't care. They're still going side by side. What is happening? Alright. This race got entertaining again. I also gained five spots somehow. Which I didn't think was going to be possible. But I did. Alright, the two and three and four. He's on the apron. What is he doing? I don't know who that is, but he's on the apron. And that's... Uh, that's solid fourth place. Just off the podium. Pretty sure right behind my teammate, though. Here's your time. Uh, Viljoen. I don't know how you say the name. Um, sweet. I got fourth place. I'll take that. Okay. Well, I think I, I'll consider that a successful test. I think I did exactly what I set out to do today. And I have proven that if... Pack racing isn't a thing, which it probably will be. Indy cars could actually race on Daytona. If they did exactly what I did, but I know that wouldn't happen in real life. Especially not with the new aero kit. Um, but anyways, that's it for this video. Still don't have an outro. Catch you later. Peace.